So how do you guys explain when a cable doesn't measure any different, but so many people think they hear a difference when they change their cables? Are they crazy? Or is there something else going on? That's the question we're gonna answer in today's video. Hey folks, I'm Gene Delasalo with Audioholics. You know, before we begin this video, I'm shooting this on a, um, a new phone. We got the new Samsung S20s. I'm also using this really cool mic from Sabine Tech. It's a smart mic. You can see it right here. I want to see what the quality is. You tell me how you guys like the audio when I'm doing it with this one versus the regular lapel, because I think this could be really cool for us to do portable videos on the go. Anyways, with that said, time to talk about cables again, my friends. So why do people always think they hear a difference, even when one probably doesn't exist? When I measure two different cables and the measurement differences are so minuscule, they can't possibly sound different in a real world system, right? So is everybody delusional or is there something else going on? Well, I wanna to talk to you about the psychology of cables because that's something that we rarely talk about. There are so many biases that happen to a human and it's, it's, all, it's not because you allow it to happen or because someone, or you're being manipulated by somebody else all the time, although that does happen as well. But the mind plays tricks. The mind wants to hear or the mind wants to see things. That's how optical illusions always work. It's the same thing with sound, but it's sometimes it's even easier to trick someone with sound than it is with the visual. So when you think about most cable vendors, they market their cables with a lot of fluff on their websites. And that's why I come down like a hammer, like Thor's hammer. I come down with them on their marketing claims because most of them are bogus. Most of the marketing claims done by these cable companies like AudioQuest, for example, is pure nonsensical. There's no engineering truth to it. NASA doesn't use their principles in their cables when they're flying to the moon or they're launching satellites. Voyager 2, for example, that went billions of miles, doesn't have strand jumping free cables, just has regular cables. So when you think about what these vendors are doing, they're preconditioning the listener. They're telling you what you're gonna hear before you hear it. The same thing happens not just with cables, it happens with room EQ systems. I've been into demos at trade shows where a room EQ company would tell the listener what they're going to hear before they play the demo with and without the EQ on. So that's a little thing called expectation bias. So when you expect something is going to sound different, your mind will trick you into thinking you're hearing that difference, even if there isn't a difference. And then oftentimes in the case when there's demos and there's multiple people in the room, if, if, they, if the person giving the demo says, hey, did everybody hear that difference? Well, nobody wants to look like an idiot, right? So the first person that waves his hand says, yeah, I heard the difference. The mid-range sounded so much more chocolatey. Well, then all the other people are kind of going to mimic him because they don't want to be left out. They don't want to be the one that doesn't have the golden ear. So you see, that's kind of a confirmation bias. When one person hears it, then the other people think they hear it too. So there's a lot of factors there, but there's also the standard placebo effect. The placebo effect is when you give someone a sugar pill, but you don't tell them they're given a sugar pill and you're telling them that it, it could potentially cure you of a disease. Sometimes it works. Sometimes the placebo actually helps people get better because the mind plays tricks again. So we're dealing with the same kind of stimulus when you're dealing with audio cables. That's why it's really important when you're doing uh, listening tests, they, they need to be controlled blind listening tests. Okay, you hear about controlled blind or double blind listening tests with loudspeakers. And to some extent, loudspeakers, they, they tend to sound very different from each other. So the biases, even though they are there when they're sighted, aren't as dramatic as the biases that are there with these cables. Because the differences in cables are either minuscule or nothing at all. So when you have a difference in stimulus that's so minor, that's when you need to eliminate all of the biases around you because the mind will take over and the mind will make you think you hear differences. You know, when you think about it, you look at this, this fancy um, power cable. This looks awesome. I mean, what would you rather have in your system? Would you rather have this 
or would you rather have this OEM stock cord, right? It's ugly, it's limp, it's just plain. This is shiny, it's got a nice coating on it. There's no difference between them. It's all packaging and a fancy connector on the back end of it. They're both the same gauge, same cable, same performance. Get rid of that. It's the same thing with speaker cables. Now, I, I do like the Kimber stuff because it measures well. And this Kimber stuff, it comes in its own jacket. It's nice. It's beautiful compared to this Blue Jeans 10 gauge, which by the way, I use tons of 10 gauge Blue Jeans cable in my house. In fact, in my new house, I'm using the 1313A Belden cable, which has a higher strand count than this one, which gives you less skin effect at high frequency, so less AC resistance increases. And we'll do a video on that in the future. But this cable is really good. It's sufficient for pretty much any speaker application. The Kimber stuff's a little bit overkill. It's super expensive, but it looks nicer. So if you want to have audio jewelry, you go with this. But just looking at the two, if you're not an audiophile or you're just someone coming in from the street, you're going to automatically gravitate towards the prettier looking cable. This has to sound better. It has to. Look at it. It's beautiful. It's shiny. It's woven. It's got a bag. It's got a logo. This just looks like it came from somebody's garage, which actually I did. I pulled this out of my garage. So this can't possibly sound as good as this, right? We're talking about biases, my friend. It's all psychological. And that's why you get people that will defend themselves down below and they'll tell me that I don't hear anything. I've, I've got bad ears because I'm saying most cables sound the same. No, my friends, the reality is once you remove the biases, you take the measurements, you see what's going on. This is not stuff. This stuff is not hard to analyze. This cable is the easiest thing to measure. I can measure this stuff in my sleep, but there's still people that will defend their decisions that they swap the cable out and it completely transform their systems. Again, it's the biases. It's the psychological effect. I'm not making fun of people. Let me, uh, let me help you understand this. I'm not making fun of people that think they're hearing a difference. I'm just telling you why they think they're hearing a difference when one probably doesn't exist. So that's all I wanted to say about that topic. You tell me what you guys are using for your cables. Tell me about the biases that you've experienced in life when you've done listening tests, whether it was with speakers or amplifiers or cables. I wanna hear down below. If there's any psychologists, hey, I could probably use a good one to be honest with you. But anyways, if there's any psychologists, please comment down below about all the different human biases that occur when you do different stimulus um, testing and you try to compare things and, and how things can kind of get skewed when you don't properly control the biases. I want to hear from you guys. And don't forget about our Patreon channel at patreon.com slash audioholics. We have a lot of unique content there. We get the videos that go up there first before they come here. You get direct access to me if you want to ask questions. There's just a lot of benefits to that. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And until next time, my friends, keep listening. So what explains when cables don't, nah, I don't like that. Do it over. Keep going, keep going, don't do okay. it over. Just settle down again, I'll trim that out. B-roll. <laughs>